let's take a look at the video. This is from the actual game. And continuing from the previous title, actually, an evolution of that is improved uh, proportions of the characters and more realistic looking. And the density is improved as well in terms of the dots on the screen. So if you compare between the previous one and the current world of Celestia, it's obvious, I think, in terms of the evolution. And also, in addition, not just a look down viewpoint of the camera, but it's more bold and various, and this makes the events and battles more beautifully rendered and dynamic. The variations in the movements of the pixel art have also had. The first time to show. First time to show here. Look at the crowd. So the first time in the world. In the world? Yes. And we do have the simultaneous interpretation too. So look at the clouds. So the expression of the nature is quite important. Thank you for notice. We actually made a much deeper time. And let's go to different towns. As time allows for us, let's choose the. Where do you want to go? Uh, for example, the basement bridge. All right, so the village name is called Kenomo. Isn't this nice because you can travel to a different town or village instantaneously? Yes, that's true because then that's stress free. Correct. So it's a village where the Wad ones live, but you also have regular people living there as well. So it looks like this, and then you come across the wild ones. They're saying lines like, we love dry meat. You can see their ears sticking out of their heads, right. And they live in these houses. This is what their village looks like. So two races are living side by side on this island. I have a feeling trouble is going to ensue between these people. So you can speak to this lion-like statue. It looks like a statue. You can. That lion was staring into the ocean. So I'm sure you're curious, but we'll leave it at that. You can see that they can climb up ladders. So this game introduces the element of elevation in height and depth. I see. Now, these wild ones, you can interact with them, but you need dry meat to barter. I see. So that's their currency. Yep. So, taking a step deeper into the worldview, because the last game was more the medieval times, and now this is a very different world. I think the characters, they represent a very vast world, and the ocean in this world divides the world into two continents, West and East. And then now some time has passed and you can see the sun is setting. Right, so natural time progression will show a change into evening. Sometimes automatically into sunset or dawn and that will further the enjoyment of your gameplay. Uh, so let's move on to a different place. There are so many locations. Are you sure you want to show us this far? We're just in the beginning of the game, right? Okay, moving on to the next place, which is called Ors Rush. Now, listening to the music, isn't it seamless? It's really emotional, isn't it? Right, thank you so much for that. This is sort of like a town in the Wild West with the pirating spirit very much alive, with mines, sort of like the Gold Rush. And... 
We've developed the interior of the shops and stores meticulously. So you can see with more height and depth and more interior of the locations in the shops, something that we want you to focus on as well. Okay, so between night and day, this is how it will change. You can see that the music has livened up. It's more bright. It's very different music. Correct. It's drastically different. I think this was a type of music that we didn't hear in the previous game. Right. So it's the Wild West, pioneer sort of music. I didn't want to make the music repetitious from the previous game, and I wanted to explore different genres. And the music also changes into the night as well, from the bustling kind of music in the daytime, it changes into a more calm and relaxed, mellow sort of music. Wow. Even now the music changed, right? It's all very seamless and smooth. So I'm sure you compose a lot of music for all of the villages and towns, right? Yes, yes. You saw all of the locations on the world map. We needed music for all of these places, right? And for both day and night. <laughs> Seems like they were trying to kill me. No, no, no. It really was a pleasure working on this game because I was tested in my composer skills and showing that difference between night and day, but also connecting them seamlessly. That was a challenge. So you've taken your inspiration from real life? Well, just as an example, say it's sort of like a same snowbound region as this previous genre. I did want to make it the same. I placed a focus and significance on the scenario of the main character, and I wanted to show different aspects of snow, even if it was sort of like the same kind of snowbound village, and taking into account the starting points and the origins of the characters and where they're coming from, and their individual journeys and stories. All right, so the, you weren't basing it off of the real world, but more really working off of your imagination of Celestia. Correct. Now, we jumped over to the next location, the next town. And you can also move around in canoes and the ships as well, and you can embark on a vast journey over the ocean. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so that means we're going to embark on these ships, right? Maybe. So it's very detailed, very intricately made, right? And looking at all those details is another thing we'd like you to enjoy. In this sort of city, which is having a very urban taste, I don't think this kind of a city existed in the previous game. Very beautiful, isn't it? And here too, the soundtrack changes between night and day. It's very moody. It has a feeling to it. It's a little bit jazzy, isn't it? This genre didn't exist in the first game. And it's sort of like you want to hold a glass of wine in one hand and enjoy the music here, right? And in comparison, the daytime music is more up-tempo. It's more energetic. Right. It's great switch over between night and day. Just enjoying that, I think you can spend an entire day. Right. So, let's take a look at the path actions and see what you can do. Okay, let's do that for sure. You can duo the townspeople, like in the last game, but Hikari, if you win the duel, you can obtain the other person's skills. I see. And that will compel you to talk to many different people in the game. And 
武器として使えるのが剣と槍なんですけど、はい、剣と槍なんですけど、剣と槍なんですけど、剣と槍なんですけど、これを覚えることができるので、剣と槍なんですけど、剣と槍なんですけど、剣と槍なんですけど、剣と槍なんですけど、剣と槍なんですけど、はい。あのアグネアの誘惑っていうところでセッションって書いてあるんですけど、今回その誘惑を使って、アルーンセダクション、ハーパッドアクション、なんか、シーケン、アルーン、アドーズ、トゥ、ジョイン、ドパーティー、アンド、インバトル、ディ、タウンスピポー、ウォー、プレイ、インストゥメンツ、トゥ、ソルト、ヘル、ブースト、パワー。そう、アワンドゥ、ショー、ダッチュー、アルーン。So, previously, it was just a simple battle, but when she dances, the other people that she brought along will play instruments. Okay, so speaking with Takahashi san, what we wanted to do was because she's a dancer, we wanted to develop her story. And do something with that with the other dance people and in the battles. All right, so this is a good opportunity for us to explain a little bit more for the nighttime. For this bout, deal, we are able to purchase from him at daytime, but we are able to hire him at night. And then this character is able to have the acumen to find out the skill sets to purchase something in a very good way or the, in a discounted way. So let's go to the next one. And I hired and so many people behind the Hikari at this moment. How many? You'll see that. And if I purchase here, ていう人はいいですね。ご自身がね、ネゴシエーションの能力。ね、ライトダウン、ユーソーティーアイコン。ディネゴシエーテッド、アンドエンデカットとか。ディネゴシエーテッド、アンドエンデカットとか。ディネ
So what is it? For this calendar, if I push the allotment power here, the PP will be max, like a cap. So it gives us to widen the choice of this battle. So after that, this, uh, this you know, our capability will be passed to the Hikari in this time. Let's take a look at it. So with that, Hikari is able to use his special skill from the beginning because he has already obtained the power from the previous character. So without taking the time, this, you know, Hikari is able to use the special skill set. Very great. All enemies are cute. Yes. Last time we need to we needed to do some break and we needed to do the boost. But this time we now have the allotment of power so that we are able to make any other options to you know give power or receive power that will generate a drama in the battle. And two, maybe one bottle, one bottle is able to be the experience for you to have the beta battle in the future. Yes. And then seamless music change from day to night and from battle to field. Amazing. And I do have one more element that I want to show here. Battle is something you need to do many times continuously, and I could do uh, eliminate the wipe, and you can change the game speed from the left down, double, double speed. Very fast and a good tempo to proceed the battle. And the skill set? Yes, skill set will be used in a very um short time and also you can see the tempo of this battle with your double speed so it's your choice yes and obtain the skill sets are there and the spears and the sword are not enough to uh, get the break shot to the enemy sometimes so you need to use the skill set you, you obtain from their town people sometimes and here is the own other skill set from the different characters and i just can enjoy the battle but you want to see something else yeah in the usual battle music it's something very difficult for me to create or compose so i was a little bit naive or a little bit sensitive to create this music. Because, you know, people listen to this music so many times, right? So that's something I really want to be clear. And I really want to hear the feedback from the users. Yes, the time for the normal battle is quite long in the series of the game. That's right. So I actually created quite carefully about this music. Please enjoy that. Thank you. So this is the end of the battle demonstration. I do have three minutes to go. So let's go to the event, uh, as I showed a little bit. Can I show the event? As time allows? Yes. I want to show the title screen to you. Thank you. A very short. And then I do have the many characters here. And then where do you start? Uh, well, I... I chose Ikari. Just showing the first event a little bit. Wow. なことに意味があるなら。そいつらは砂の中にいるね。今頃剣を握ってる。祈ってなどいない。ただ考えていた。同じ理想を胸に死んだ者たちがいると。この剣は友のために。時間だ。王子殿。行こう、律。すごい。この
あたりも本作ならではのあいいですね。そうですね。やっぱりカメラはそうですね。Look at the camera movement and that was also similar to and here's the battle. Yes. いや見入っちゃいますねやっぱ。そのまま返す。お前は成り上がるんだ。天に届くくらい上まで。こんな地べたで死んでたまるかよ。心強いなりつ、進むぞ。国のために。いやー、あーここらでねいろいろとチュートリアルも入ってきてる。And here's a tutorial <笑> to get used to this system. Yes. 今回はねちょっと早く皆様に見せたいということで飛ばさせていただきます。So、let's keep it speedy to show the event as much as I can. このまま進むぞリッツおっ上に行くとあらよし俺はタップオブダヒルスライドの活躍で敵を知る強そうっすねそろそろそろじゃあ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ